shout out to Adrian Thomas for sending me this story. And as you can see right here in this picture, you see those letters that say Columbine. Everybody knows what that is. But if you really look and examine the actual hoodie itself, it has some bullet holes in it. Apparently, there is this fashion designer that created a school shooting themed hoodie, which apparently didn't take that much to create, and decided to have a model walk on the runway or at least on the platform wearing it as, you know, as a fashion piece. And apparently it has pissed quite a few people off. I can just about imagine which group was pissed. But let me go ahead and read this article coming from the New York Post. It says school shootings should be off limits as fashion fodder. But one brand has just unveiled controversial hoodies featuring the names of schools devastated by mass shootings, including Sandy Hook, Virginia Tech, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, and even Columbine. To make, matter, to make matters worse, the hoodies were riddled with bullet holes. The brand Dystopia-inspired fashion house Bistroy, founded by designing Do Bricks Owens and Dieter Do Grams, is already getting rightfully taken down on social media after they debuted the offensive garments in New York over the weekend as a part of their spring 2020 menswear collection. Comments piled on calling their work disgusting, callous, and revolting. Many of those calling out the designers included the family members of the victims and survivors of terrorism. Kyle Kashuf, a Marjorie Stoneman Douglas survivor, gave Bistro a piece of his mind on Instagram. I would just like to say what the actual hell is wrong with you. Goddamn monetizing off of school shooting. Disgusting. Added user at Kate Zaynese. I am probably pronounced their name all wrong. Apparently a student at Stoneman Douglas. My dead classmates dying should not be a fucking fashion statement. As a Sandy Hook family, what are you doing here? What you are doing here is absolutely disgusting, hurtful, wrong, and disrespectful. You'll never know what our family went through after Vicky died protecting her students. Our pain is not to be used for your fashion, wrote the Instagram account for the Vicky Soto Memorial Fund, named after a teacher who died at Sandy Hook. The designers attempted to unpack their intention in a bizarre statement on Instagram. Sometimes life can be painfully ironic, like the irony of dying violently in a place you consider to be a safe, controlled environment like school. The release read, we are reminded all the time of life's fragility, shortness, and unpredictability, yet we are also reminded of its infinite potential. The Atlanta-based Grams and Owens, whose brand shows a $1,000 jeans and a $150 dicky, was hailed in a New York Times profile as we call in their line a blend of high-concept pieces. At a recent pop-up in their hometown, the pair dipped a pair of Nike Air Max Uptempo 95s in concrete, a metaphor for remaining grounded in your history roll the times. We are making violent statements do told the times. That's for you to know who we are so we can have a voice in the market. But eventually that voice will say things that everyone can wear. Now, with that being said, I find it very ironic that people are very upset about this. And granted, this may not have been the smartest thing to do, but it sparked the conversation, and I bet that's what they were trying to do. And could they have been being a little bit petty? Yeah. Because if I was a person who made clothes, I don't know if I would have done this in particular. But with that being said, I find it interesting that they are very, very, very outraged about this. And granted, if these are people who had family members that were affected by this or maybe a close friend or something like that, I can understand the outrage. Like, no one would want to see that. But I find it very interesting that a lot of people are outraged about this. But were very quiet about this. If y'all don't remember, back when Trayvon Martin got killed, murdered, in 2012, you had a lot of palm-colored people both both well mostly both uh, mainly teenagers mimicking a deceased body and called it Trayvoning this was a real thing I will never forget it and this was it was at this point right here where I knew that no matter the age palm color just was wicked for no goddamn reason to actually mimic the deceased 
a deceased body and act like we were not supposed to be outraged about it. But because someone decides to take those school shootings, put them onto hoodies and turn it into fashion, now they're upset. I can honestly say I feel absolutely nothing for their emotions and or their feelings because guess what? Ours are never dealt the same level of, I guess you can say, sympathy. Not that I would expect it coming from them. I I don't expect it. So therefore, I don't share in it. All I had to say was it may not have been the best choice for them to do because they knew they were going to get face backlash. I knew they would. And that's about as far as it goes for me. So as far as they're outraged, they're alone in it because they were very quiet about this, participated in it, or they laughed at it and thought it was a joke. Because, you know, apparently us dying or, you know, people who look like us dying at the hands of certain elements is a joke to them. So there it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next one.